It's also interesting at the moment that the Turkish Foreign Minister, uh, Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu, he's also in the United States and later on he's going to be attending a meeting of foreign ministers of NATO and also going to have meetings with the US Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, and the uh, National Security Advisor, John Bolton. So it's going to be interesting to see whether this issue over the F-35 fighter jets and the S-400 missile defense system can be advanced in any way. And to discuss this issue a bit more, I'm joined now here in the studio in Ankara by Merve Seren, who's a defense analyst. She's also assistant professor at uh, Ankara Yildir in Bayezid University. Uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you, this comments by the acting uh, defense secretary, Dennis Shanahan, he's saying he thinks there'll be a, a deal soon, that something will be worked out. Why do you think he's, uh, he's so optimistic? Well, actually, I think they have to find a deal because sir, don't forget that Turkey is the Turkey is a NATO ally, so they've got so many areas that they are cooperating together. It's not about just, uh, uh, you know, about buying F-35, but Turkey is, uh, first of all, Turkey is the only Muslim country who, ha who is sharing the borders in the Middle East. So they've got the Syrian issue. Turkey is also uh, facilitating in the European countries or in the in the Afghanistan or Iraq. So many co so many cooperations uh, and uh, so many collaborations actually with the other NATO allies. This is one issue, and the second thing is that. Uh, don't forget that I think we are always underestimating the role of Turkey's uh, playing in the NATO's defense shields. Uh, the defense missile shield project. Why? Because we have got this NATO's defense, air defense radar stationed in the Krejcik, which is the uh, eastern, which is located in the eastern province of the Malatya. 